for tooth. I say this to you, offer the wicked man no distance. On the contrary, if anyone hits you on the right cheek, offer him the other as well. If a man takes you to law and would have your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone orders you to go one mile, go two miles with him. Give to anyone who asks, and if anyone wants to borrow, do not turn away. I find this very amusing. <laughs> so, I don't want to be Na I gusto mang huwam, ayaw balibari. This is the true side of a whole Christian, no? So, that's why, may huwam na ako, hindi ginagawa balibara, no? So, anyway, I find it in the long way it pays, no? It's the only they do good in life. They, they pay you more than, more than many times, more than 70 times seven. That is my experience. But here, this passage, the whole thing of it tells us that we cannot somehow return evil with evil. And that is Christian. I remember one time I was in Spring Day, Bangay. So during the investigation, why did you vaccine? So my dad said, somebody will box me, I'll box him back. <laughs> so, I, I called uh, that, no, investigation because the guy has to be suspended. Yeah, of course, I have to teach my son like that. So why do you have to suspend him? Uh, because that is not the Christian way of teaching kids. <laughs> to explain it to him. No. So if uh, somebody hits you in the right cheek, you go in your left cheek, no? You're amazing. So see, so this thing of our teaching, Christian teaching, you can say it's very high. No, the bar is set high. Because we are not going to love just like that song that uh, we sang there in the car, no? The greatest love of all is easy to achieve. Learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. <laughs> it's, it's the opposite of the Christian teaching. You know? It's not loving no? oneself. Which is the greatest love. The greatest love of all is to give oneself to others. And I don't already said that. The greatest love of all is no one has the least than to give his life for others. So that is why here there are very concrete things no, that we can bring up. No? Just like in the prayer this afternoon on the way, our Father has given us very concrete things how to show that love for others. But we cannot do it. It's very hard if that love is not rooted in the love of God. Because if it's just that we like the others, it's so easy to like others. That's why we do good to others. But when our Lord said, love the enemy, that is not that is something unusual. No? You love your enemy. Because the concept of people of love is liking. As you know, see Maria Escriba said, no. The best way to how to understand love is understanding. It's not even giving. Because sometimes some people can easily give. But to understand. To understand means to be with a person. And I heard this. You can say that person who understands us more. Even St. Augustine said that. God is nearer than you are nearer to yourself. Which means if we cannot understand ourselves, God understands us. No? And that is why you look at the wall. That's really amazing. No? I mean, I am love unconditionally. Without limits. Let's go to the top for this topic, the circle. If you notice, as I mentioned it, no, the topics of the circle now are more of issues. No, we are not in the Pikisim now. No, so the talk is about neo-modernism. No, so now we will uh, take a look. What is this modernism and the errors of it? So, in a theological sense, this is the current thought. It's even promoted by some Catholic intellectuals, as we can see later on in examples. No? We started at the beginning of the 19th century, early in Buddhism. And then, in the 20th century, the whole idea of the modernism is to adapt the faith according to the principles of philosophy, using reason to understand things. That's why the term also given to neo-modernism is modern philosophy. And then it's also based on some uh, theories of historical criticism. You critique history according to how you see things unfold in the past. 
So this one lead to a rise to a religious crisis. Pope Pius X took corrective measures because of this. No, he was the one. Pope Pius X coined the term modernism because this is the group of heresies that's being condemned. In 1907, he published two documents: Lamentabili Sani Exitu, no? the Exit. Lamentable exit of reason. No? Wow, reason. And then the other is Pascendi Domini Grege. No? Our Lord is gregorious enough to send his peace to people. So there are 65 heresies condemned in these two documents. Most of these are from this guy, no? Leroy, philosopher, French. And one from Tyrell, from England. And then in Italy also. It was like a, a compendium of all the heresies that started in the 19th century up to the early 20th century. No? So the summary of this condemned modernist errors are this. No, it can be grouped into four types. First type of error is referring to revelation. The idea is that the Bible is not inspired by God. No? It's just like another book written by historians. But ours is different because in the document, the verbo, the word of God, the word of God is God. No? So the author of the Bible is God. How about Mark, Luke, and uh, they are hagiographers? Just like I'm the writer, but I ask Bal. So that's why we see the gospel according. The gospel according. Anyway, there's a whole class for that, no? study of the hagiographers and the book. Because in the last seminar I attended, we were just studying St. John. <laughs> so, Father, I was giving the class, I was giving the talks in that seminar for supernumeraries. I said, I'm sitting there. Well, I'm just, just try to learn why St. John was like that. Because he was different from all the other three. You know, started with a different approach. I mean, he wrote his gospel and all the explanations they're in. In fact, I have the document if you want, I can send it to you. <laughs> the document was studying St. John. So, the first group of errors is saying that the Bible is not a holy Bible. It's just like any other book. The second error is respect to the church. And again, it negates the institution of the church as divine. And the dogmas are just made up. No? And all the laws that the church gives is changeable laws in any society. No? They just think that Catholicism cannot be reconciled with science. I mean, in fact, the Pope wrote an encyclical on that. It's called Fidus et Ratio. No? You can download it. No? Faith and reason. And the main argument is very nice. Faith cannot go against reason. And reason cannot go against faith. Why? Because all knowledge comes from God. And so therefore, since God is truth, He cannot contradict Himself. The contradiction happens at the level of human beings. That's why you see now, you have so many scientists who believe in God. No? So you have foremost the most eminent scientist in the world. No, he said, the world is so simple that they explain in six propositions. God must be beautiful. <laughs> that was Einstein. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't know if he's a Catholic, we have a research if he's a Catholic, but I think he's not a Catholic. No, because he's part Jew. No? Jew German Jerry is a German Jew. You know, that guy. And in a very he, he saw that, no, that oh, it's the world is so beautiful. It must come from a very beautiful because he knows, he knows that the gravity, he discovers it. And he did not formulate gravity, you know? All those things that happen. It's there is a phenomenon and man discovers it. It's a set because if it's not a law, it will be chaotic, you know? But since the universe is so beautiful, and that's what the church teaches. You want to know how there is a God? What does the church say? Look at creation. <laughs> That's what the, the church teaches no, in its apologetics. You want to know if there is God? Look at creation. If you look at creation, you, you'll be amazed. Many of these scientists are like that. No? Some of them just walking in the forest <laughs> and suddenly grace comes upon them. <sighs> there is a God. <laughs> Just like Thomas Merton. Thomas Merton was like, I was walking in uh, Fifth Avenue in New York. That's why the street is named after him. He just got grace. No, suddenly he feels so. And started reading. Although he bought, he bought a book of St. Thomas. <laughs> I suppose that start triggered everything. No, it's so bright. No? 
although he didn't become a saint because he was doubling also with uh, Hindu mysticism. But the guy is a Franciscan. You know, give up everything in his life and become a hermit. Become religious, you know. He built a very small house there and started contemplating on God. <laughs> Amazing. You know? so, people can be more with that. The other next group of errors in the heresy is just Christ. No, that Christ did not resurrect. And there's a movie on YouTube, I forgot now the title, but this guy wants to prove that Jesus Christ did not resurrect. Now, you know already the end of the movie, you know? He got converted. Because <laughs> he started going to scientists. <laughs> no, it's there in YouTube. I watch it. But this is true to life story. No, he's a journalist, very renowned journalist, Chicago Tribune, I think. And then started, you know, I want to prove this uh, no, Christ, this is just like one. So he ended up being converted. No? Because he found out that it's there. No? I mean, how many billions of Christians around the world? Six billion? And all of them believe that Jesus Christ resurrected. And you out there to, to prove it, who are you? No? That's no contest. If you ask any Christian, oh, Jesus Christ resurrected. Why? St. Paul said it. He has not resurrected. Faith is your faith. No? But this one is based on faith alone. He wants to find so many. So many. Just like Dan Brown. Remember Dan Brown? No? He made millions out of it. I mean, crazy guy. He said, no? Maria Magdalena, kapit ni Christ. Atong kaoba ni Tom Hanks. Atoy apu, sa apu, sa apu, sa apu ni Jesus Christ. Si Pat, like, eh, Dan Brown, and then no, siya yung simbahan, di ba? Gothic, ano daw nga nagpurma? Siya, ang bilangan na ni Maria Magdalino ni Gawa. I did not read the book, no way. I just read the synopsis. It's not good enough reading. No? So many people watch the movie. Buti na, they didn't understand the movie. No? <laughs> it was really... And then in CNN interview, he was asked, do you believe in Christ? And he said, yes. And he used this historical criticism. Because your Christ is different from my Christ. Oh, how is that? Because there's a Christ of the Christian, the Christ of the Catholics. I have my own Christ. <laughs> this guy is crazy. <laughs> but he became a millionaire. He wrote the book, put up so many crazy ideas, and then he got Opus Dei to be more in the flood. <laughs> You have an albino numerary. Okay, the chef who lives himself. And all of that is to guard the secret. To guard the secret of uh, Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Crazy guy, you know what I mean? So see all these things, you know? I mean, you know, people believe it. The next group of uh, heresies is about the sacrament. No? That the sacraments help the soul to feel the always benevolent presence of the Creator, but it just makes you feel good. <laughs> so, uh, sacrament, feel good, right? You feel good, no? But I wash away you. It does not really give grace, no? Just like matrimony, confession, this attack now, you know this. Diba? Attack in the US, imagine in the US. Being attacked. My body, my choice. To be hard when you can kill an unborn. I hope you think like that. So we are Christians now. And this is the, the uprising of all this uh, modernism. No? So Pope Pius X in that document Pashendi define it. A compendium of all the heresies. And then half a century later, there was renewed forcefulness of these old errors. No? That's why I appeal to the masonry. We cannot be a mason and a Catholic. So the church wrote already a document on it. When you see Katman and masonry, no? all kinds of forms. The whole idea of masonry is that you have like a mystic knowledge, no? What explanation of the world? And then you look at these people, they seem to be good people, lawyers, judges, even president. No, and then they do a lot of civil works. But the idea is that you rub away divinity. Because the good of man comes from man. <laughs> Exalting man, no? But, uh, wow. So what a good night you look at the they have their lodges, no? They have so many of this in the world, no, all over, so many variations, no? There's this eagle thing, there's this creed thing, no? So I even know of a doctor who was a mason, no? So he doesn't have formation, doesn't know about these things. And so when he gets to meet in contact with this priest, explain to him, 
Oh, believe me. <laughs> so, he has to write in public. No? A letter in public. Because you cannot be a good standing of a Catholic and you're a Mason. No? He has to disavow all these connections. And I asked him, how oh, yeah, are Anyway, he's very open to it. So, because when he was practicing as a doctor early, many doctors are Mason. He cannot get in to the professional circle if he does not become a Mason. No? Then he found it very nice. No? I mean, they have so many activities, no? help the poor. I mean, how can you find something bad with that? Right? Doing, I don't know, helping, no? anything. But what is that? So, owning to man himself the glory of being good without God. No? So, that uh, document, <coughs> of Pius the uh, Ten also wrote something. No? And then, just all two. No? During the 100th year of that document, no? Humani Vitae, very important. The opening statement of it is very nice. No? It, was the, it was the conversation of our Lord and the rich young man. That was the opening of Humani You look at Humani Vitae because Humani Vitae is human life. So it was the cyclical that everyone in the U.S. proclaimed. No? Because in that, in that encyclical, the church proclaimed the value of human life. <laughs> so, for sure, before everything is done. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but that's Catholic teaching. That's not your teaching. Why are you complaining? You're not even Catholic. You don't Catholic. You You're not even Catholic. Why are you complaining? You're not even under the floor. No, if you want. No, but there, the church explain no? the goodness of life. Because our Lord asked the good thing about the Catholic system. Wala mana sa Islam. That's why you see Islam, you have so many extremists, di ba? Because they give us Islam or something. So now you have, the, you have the clash of the modern Muslims. Nanya. The Muslims, they don't have many single teacher. They don't have a magisterium. Unlike the Catholic, we have the Pope and all the bishops in the world. So the Muslims, they are like the, the evangelicals. They have like their, their, their imams are like pastors who will interpret their book. <laughs> so you have clash of interpretations. Not the Catholics, unlike us. There's only one who teaches us it's the magisterium. So the magisterium says it. That's it. It's very clear. So that's a nice thing with us. No? And then, since the intervention of the Holy See, all of this multiplied so many. No? So that's why what happened is that the Pope, 1970 or 75, 79, issued this no? on abortion, <coughs> sexual ethics, you know, the sexual revolution in the 1970s, di ba? No? And then, questions about eschatology, 1979, end of the world, end of the world. <laughs> yeah, so imagine end of the world, Korea, all this thing, no? year 2000, no? Although, I, I, pag year 2000 doon, ang mga pari, ang mga wali, so, hindi nila lina po hindi, yung sardinas, inyong kabidisyonan, inyong, uh, may happy na kayo. <laughs> Nauso man doon, no, uh, believe in God, fear God. Diba? Ipamutag sa ganungan, eh, ano, kabanda, ipamutag sa mga, uso ka ng, you know, the world, no? So, like, okay, klaro ng scatology. So, the church said something very clear about it, no? Look at itong mga Christian communities no, in Korea, remember? So, yung pamiligya nila tanang ilang gamit. Nag-crowd sila sa bunker, 200 meters. The year 2000 is the end of the world. Tapos, like, countdown. Ang gawa sila kasi sila rin nakabilin. Happy New Year, mga tanang. <laughs> ilang mga auto, nag-hiko ka sa after war. No? Wala, no? Wrong is catology. Right? Have your purpose, di ba? Tulunan lagi announce nga ang kalibutan. Uh, end of the world. Yeah. Ipospon sila. Wala. Ipospon. Ipospon. <laughs> there's so many na. Tawagan na millennialist. No? The millennialist. And there's so many points that they're based on that. No? So many. No? That's what happens. Their free interpretation. The last or the latest of this heresy is this Marxism. Marxism trying to incorporate it in the faith. So, Marx is the German philosopher behind the 
Well, in communism is the final stage. So Engels started it, and then Marx. So the whole idea of Marxism is that there will be a historical revolution to replace because at that time, you know, this is the idea. Every there were no countries, there were kingdoms. No, and they see that the gap between the poor and the rich is, uh, you know, very far. No, so they need to replace so revolution. So Queen Antoinette was beheaded in France, the royal family in Russia. But once the power is vacated, they need to put something. No, so communism. So this is uh, adopted by Stalin, Mao Zedong in China. No, so. The highest, the idea of communism is that the highest good is not you as a person, not me, but the good of the common people, which is wrong in the common good sense of the God. Because take not that the Catholic doctrine, social doctrine, common good is one of the principles of social doctrine with church. But their common good is the collective good. A different definition of the common good, because if you look at the common good of of the church is that all the situations in order for each person to be able to achieve his own good. Ang ilahang common good when you're collective. So, karon, kung sa may ilahang main idea sa communism, kung sa may nakaingon sa evil, sa kalimutan, the possession of material good. So, kung wala na na dyan, pwede ang natatanan, may dato ay kumpli. So, di kuha. Oh, nasa tinuro na komunista, wala, oh, tanan, kinsa na may dato, ang politburo. <laughs> Ito mo sa China, di ba? The general star, the one who reads to, ilaw na, no? But the China right now is not operating as a communist country. It's operating as a capitalist. There's no way to be consumed. Ito yung, wala na. So they're just holding actually to power. There's no communist state nowadays. Even Cuba is not a communist state. Totalitarians, na, anak po, North Korea. It's not a communist. It's a totalitarian. Wala na. So they found out that the idea, the more nang naibaguro nga, and a new communism in the U.S., no? no? Socialism, news, right? AOC, Bernie Sanders, no? No, no it is the government will take care of the good of the people. No, God. No, no, God. You see what happens, no? It's the exaltation of man wanting to take credit away from God. In the end, so is it. Heresy is also like that. That God is not the good of society. The good of society is the human being himself. Collectively. And so therefore, the good of the being has to address all the concerns in the community. So man has to rely on himself. But we know that man is not perfect. It's bound with so many defects. But all these things will start collapsing. Nowadays, there's no... Look at it, there's no communism anymore. The communism in China is a different kind of communism. <laughs> Just holding on to their power. And then, you know what happened with that, no? So, you have another theology based on Marxism, which is called liberation theology. So the whole idea is that Jesus Christ came on earth to liberate the poor. <laughs> no? So, we have our own very famous uh, no? Marxist liberation theologian here in the Philippines. No? He's a priest, he went out of the priesthood. And then he became an NPA commander, no? Commander Baluig. <laughs> Went to the white. What did she create? Yeah, no? Christ came to liberate the poor of their poverty. Since governments are doing about it, so he needs a revolution. So he ended up being an eh? NPA commander. No? So, he moved to the city. City. Si Philip Salvador, I forgot to forget about it. Commander Baluig. And then he got to the Pagapari. Katong inyong commander ka babae, may iyan niya. Iwan niyo, wow, grabe ka, korupsyon, no? Gawa siya pagkapari, katong commander, iyan niya asawa, pa sila mag minyo, palit mo siya, no? So, and then, he was killed in one operation, no? I think they're still in YouTube. Anyway, it's public knowledge. You see what happens, no? And then, liberation theology was very strong in South America at that time, 1970s. Of course, now we know that the church condemned it and explains, no? The reason why liberation theology is a heresy, no? So these doctrines present the church as enslaved in capitalism, no, no. as a defender of the oppressor. Therefore, they conclude the church suffers from an essential corruption, which has to be purified by stripping it all external manifestation. This is really against the church, no? liberation theology. 
So from this error, they affirm that it is necessary to abandon the mystique of the incarnation. So really, no, 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 incarnation, the purpose of incarnation is to, no, this pretense, useless conversion, no, the workers, no, so on, no? they want to put Marxism into Catholicism, no, and then on the other hand, in all its forms, it was uh, condemned by the church, no, because, well, you know, Christian virtues, voila, everything negated. Hebrew 13, 14, 13, 4. Not only does it forget that here on earth we have no permanent city, but we seek for the city that is to come. So the good only of what is of the present. And then it replaces itself with antagonistic affirmation. And then the last part is, at present we're still here now, hedonism. No? You only live once, eat and be merry because tomorrow you will die. <laughs> but, but you know that so after you die, you're still alive because your soul is spiritual. No, this is what happened. No, and nowadays, you see people you are doing so many. You see that here, yeah? the world. People exercising, doing so many sacrifices for a beautiful body. But if you have a Christian no, fasting, no, you can't understand it. <laughs> You have to do that, no, for God. But they can understand it for, for means to beautify oneself, no, no for their vanity. You see, people going through many, so many sacrifices in order just to attain something which is vain. But for the Christian, no, because well, as we have institutional sacrifices like fasting, like abstinence, no, but they cannot understand that, no. So, another one is laicism, last one. What is this? Well, the negation of the transcendence of a person. Only, you only live once. So after you die, that's it. That's life. No. Man goes outside of himself. And this is called transcendence. Meaning, we are, we are not made just for this city alone. No. We are made for God. Man transcends his natural being because he is a part of the divine. Well, it's a Buddhism. The Buddhism tells you you are God. <laughs> you are part no, of the spark of God. You are actually God. That's why I don't know if Jagad Guru is still there on TV Sunday, 3 o'clock. No? <laughs> Missing. Wala na, wala na Jagad Guru. No? Every Sunday after Sunday, I listen to him before. I eh. was in high school. What is this guy talking? You are not yourself. You know? And then he preaches that values that are also Hindus, you know. And all the ideas are Hinduism. You are a part of God. So you have to cleanse yourself. You know? And then he explains you know, the rapidness of human nature. So you are part of the... You are actually God. You are part of Atman. <laughs> so Catholicism, you know, we are not God, but we are spirit. Image and likeness of God, and our image and likeness of God comes from our soul, which is spiritual. That is very clear. We are not God, but we will go back to God because we are children of God by virtue of our baptism. So at least for us, we have a proper reason to back up our faith. Huh? So this new form of modernism proposes the absolute fusion of religion and life. It denies all the principle of authority the tradition and magisterium, so to each his own. So the affirmation of the individual independence. You can be your own self, no? Like our religion, structured, no? <laughs> no? So the origin of this movement, this racism, old as the world, is a third root of sin. What is this? Pride of life, no? And what St. John said, everything in this world is a loss of the flesh, the last of the eyes, the pride of life. No? This is the root of this laicism, no? the pride of life. Man wants to subscribe to himself everything that is in the world. No? And this is opposed to the divine subjection which it rejects. And consequently becomes submission to itself. That's what St. Augustine defined what sin is. No? 
sin is aversio a Deo, conversio a creatura. It says that sin is the aversion to God and there's a conversion to God. It's the other way around. We have to be converted to man, to God and we have to be averted to man. Bali, no? So, ang tao, di siya kailangan ginoo. Ito siya siyang kagalikot. Di, hindi, di ka siyang kagalikot. Ito kasi ginoo. And then, you can see, many of the sins come from this. No? So, that's why in this uh, movement, it says that we have to fight against a strong faith in Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, why? In order to release yourself of all these things. You know, really, no, no, no. The whole idea is to be like Christ. No? And to be Sino si Maria Escriba said, Alfertistus Epsi Christus. So what, have, what has to be the attitude of Catholics to these deviations? Well, this is what Sino si Maria Escriba said no, in that very famous homily in Navarre. He said, you have to put Christ in the summit of all human activity. So the faith in Christ should enliven all social issues, all honest human activity. Otherwise, it becomes a subscription to itself, whatever the thought is. We have to seek first the kingdom of God and His justice, and not as these current thoughts of pretend to subordinate the same thing. No? So, purely transitory human reality, like Masonry, like Mormonism. But the Mormon does not believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. There are worse. Some people ascribe themselves to be the second person of the Trinity. You know? Is Jesus Christ incarnate in the world? Rabbi, you know, you two words, you know, and he's the son of God. Is Jesus Christ? You know, have so many people there, you know. He became a millionaire even, but I, <coughs> after he dies, for sure, you know, he's a man. 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 You know, Ignorance. That's why we cannot just limit ourselves, not to the personal plane. Saying, well, I know I have my doctrine, I know this doctrine, I have a and We have to spread doctrine as much as we could. First of all, firmness in our own faith. We have to have a great faith. We know through divine grace the revealed truth. It is impossible for it to be false. What the church, with the assistance of the Holy Spirit, has taught for 20 centuries. 20, 21, 2021 years ago. No? And we should also know and spread the ordinary teaching of the magisterium of the church. What is that? Catechism of the Catholic Church. Everything is there. That's why it's good to have a catechism in the house. Not just the copy, but the hard copy. The Higgin. I know this is the Higgin. No? I, I, I met this scientist friend a renowned scientist in the Philippines. He does not like to read e-books. So he really buy books. So I said, because the, the e-book, because you look at it and you don't want to look at it again once you read it. But if it's a, a real book, you can pause, you can meditate, and it's still there. So anyway, it's like a town. But most intellectuals, they don't read e-books. Many intellectuals, they really want the book. Or maybe it's more of psychological. No? Uh, they want to... Feel it, no, never, no. But I find also reading the pages better than this one. Sakit ng mata after two hours reading it. Malana, sakit gaye ng mata dua ka one hour. So what do you want to do? Hours, you know, the glare and everything. So that's why if you read this, you want to know how big mata. This is but same. Let me make a basa sa you know. We have a very good book, but it's different, di ba? When you read, I mean, it's up to you, no. But the important thing is we need to have a plan of reading. Plan of reading. So buy the catechism, read it. If you don't understand it because uh, the English is a bit uh, deep, there are some priests. No? That's the reason why we go to the priest. No? Because he was trained. Not only he was trained, he has the experience of how to put things in context. That's why when Father gives a class, at least inside, he gives a class with us every Wednesday. You know? So I don't miss his classes because I get to see. The distillation of the learning, right? even if he just reads the catechism, but there is an explanation, which I find something new because my explanation is different. It's like the Sunday, you know, what was the niyahan? Nito ni gamito niyahan. Concept in the how the Trinity is. 
Uno ba the priest said, so that we understand better the Trinity. I was thinking, receive na, hindi ka sa buto na, mamaya ako dito nito. And then he started explaining, kung ito, so much mo gamay, no? Regarding image, concept, no? And he was even a new priest. So maybe he just got it from the seminar, you see? Or maybe the Holy Spirit put grace and begin to understand better these things, no? Of course, when the Holy Spirit gives you the light, sa akin, everything will be bright enough. In order to finish this, it is necessary to take into account that we rely on the virtues. Faith, hope, charity. Sino si Marishiba in the way number 301 said, I'll tell you a secret in this world crisis. It said, this world crisis is a crisis of sanctity. Not so many people want to become saints. You know what happens no, when the saint comes, you know, will change. No? That's why in this, uh, this uh, Cardinal Newman, you know, he said, Give me ten saints and I will change the world. It's very true, Imagine sino si Maris, Just one saint, no? Tugano na napu ka buo. There were times in the church, that's why it's very nice, no? The Holy Spirit gives us those saints, no? Needed at this time. We will just look at the history of the church, but what is needed at the time, the church provides, you know. So we know that things will come as they are needed. Because it was to Peter that our Lord promised, you know. And the gates of hell, you know, are not superseded. Which means that the church will be there until the end of time. All these heresies will come. I don't know what other heresies will come in the future, but these are just a remanufacture. The whole, most... It will always go back, all the heresies will go back, that man is the exaltation of all the good in the world. And then it comes into many forms. It came in the 17th century, in the 18th century, 19th century. The same thing with the abortion issue now in the U.S. How come they can believe that to, to kill them? Because they said, I have the right to my body. <laughs> what? So, exaltation of man again himself. Divorce, they say. They say, yeah. So what God has put together, no, 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 this is my life. <laughs> Abortion, yeah, euthanasia, yeah, drugs, the same. <laughs> all of that is always replacing God because man wants to exalt himself. Some nation conscience. Do I often realize that I am in the presence of God? Bask in the presence of God in the morning when you do your morning offering. Yeah, you never know no? if it's your last day. That's what uh, Don Bosco said to his uh, the saint, that know the name, the tip of my tongue, who is the patron for the acolytes, Dominic Savio. Yeah. So Dominic Savio, when he sleeps, Don Bosco now tells him, pray, you might die tonight. <laughs> In the morning, when he wakes up, Don Bosco is beside, pray, you're still alive. <laughs> so that's the idea, no? Yeah, could die tonight, but I did not die, no? I pray again, no? Oh, presence of God all the time. Uh, to really, what our father said, no, like, spend the day like a squeeze lemon, because you have given everything for God for that day. So I try to say the Holy Rosary every day. So, many has passed, but still, no? we're at it. I told one guy, your student, to pray the rosary every day, you will change. Surana. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> you are afraid the rosary every day, saying so many, I love you to our lady. No? If you can pray the rosary actually with your wife and kids, you receive an indulgence. An indulgence. Imagine that an indulgence if you pray the rosary together. Have I wasted my time? Have I caused others to waste their time by disturbing them in my work or by failing to be punctual? I carry out a quiet and steady apostolate among my friends. So don't feel bad. Just pray. Apostolate is always prayer, mortification, action. In the very third place, action. That's what Sinon Simeon Shiva said. So never think that we bring soul because of our invitation. We bring soul because of prayer sacrifice. No? The souls will come when we 
pray, we offer sacrifice. Though I allow myself to be dominated by human respect. Wow. Never. Why? Because we're not doing it for ourselves. <laughs> Even this priest who is asking us to help him in his, uh, in his church, I will ask money. I am never ashamed. In the first place, that's not mine. <laughs> it's the nice thing is that when we ask from other people, we're helping them to be generous. It's not the other way around. No? That's why that's why the rectitude of intention is very important. You no, know, when we try to work things for His glory. So I seek to participate in professional and social activities in which I can do an effective apostolic work. So I try to make my home bright and cheerful, and my example and my dedication to my family. That I frequently consider that I must sanctify myself in the faithful fulfillment of my family duties. Do I see to it that my attention to my family is never harmed by a disorderly dedication to my professional, social, and such other activities? That's why you have to plan things out. The nice thing is when we celebrate feast days. Feast days and then incorporate it in a in the schedule, like to do a pilgrimage, you know, to do whatever, you know, whatever it is. You know, the holidays, when you do the family things, family together, you start building up for the foundation of the family. When the children come, they're ready. That's why this course in little child first steps. Actually, you take that course if you don't have children yet. <laughs> you will appreciate it later when you have one. Well, no? You can, no? First steps, very nice. Because it will teach you. The age level, psychology, discipline, how to go about with it, two, one year old, two, three years old. No? Wow, no? I mean, I don't know if uh, you can have no? first steps very nice, no? especially the wives. No? They appreciate it so much because, you know, you don't go to school to become a wife right? or to become a husband. You don't take a degree to become a husband. You just become a husband. And you become a father, you think that also. Right? Agriculture is not an animal husbandry. <laughs> right away, human beings, they don't, they don't. So they just go into it. How do you become a parent? By being a parent. No, para practical. Or one educator said, actually, God is so good. God put already the psychology in the women to become a mother. But you see also some crazy mothers, no? Funny enough, if a, a person just wanted to live himself to be a good person, eventually, no? It's like a confusion. That's why you say a good person because you have a good father, a good mother. How do you become good? Good Christians. No? And my experience proves it right. No? When I interview students, Africans, I say it's good. And look at the parents. Ah, not from the parents. When the parents don't know what happened. They 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 don't know what I think I interviewed more than 200 in Siguro inside. No? I was going to interview parents. I don't know if I was no? So I ended up interviewing every day parents, no? And experience, no? Lucky, you know, the parents have faith. They live it. So my question is always, do you go to Mass on Sunday? <laughs> you cannot tell Nagzara, Sabah. <laughs> that is the only way, you know. I don't know when I'm going to meet them again, you know. I'll tell them, explain to them the whys. Why it's important to have a God. If you don't have a God, really, where are you going to base your, well, your decisions in life? And how are you going to teach them? That's it. To so each his own. I do my work when I shoot today now or deceive myself by leaving it for later with the same thing I'm doing at all. So this uh, procrastination. Diba? It's a form of laziness. Our father, you know, St. Maria Escriva, have a, like, a motto for it, not to fight it. It's a no chipe. In Latin, it means now. And then one son of his said, it's now or never. Now or never, meaning it's you're going to get grace now or don't get grace, no? For time, no, that we put things in perspective, we schedule, especially in our norms. This is really where we get graces, no? in our work, in our relationship with others. No? This is the thing that uh, we have to learn from our Father how to sanctify our day. But I always work with the happiness that comes from knowing that I am a son of God. Do I faithfully fulfill my commitment of praying for Opus Day every day? My generosity, the use of my time, devoting part of it to accomplish the activities entrusted to me. 
Am I presently trying to attract some of my friends to our proselytes? So don't stop praying. No? Knowing that uh, the reason for such thing is Christus Sojet Ergomus. It is Christ who resurrected who is urging us to bring souls to Him. Okay, that's it. Let's pray. Hail Mary, Son of God. Hail Mary, Son of God. Hail Mary, Son of God. This is our young women and this is the fruit of the Lord Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now they are for death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. This is our young women and this is the fruit of the Lord Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now they are for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. This is our young women and this is the fruit of the Lord Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now they are for death. Amen. We give you thanks, Almighty God, for all your benefits, beliefs, and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May our Lord grant us peace. And life everlasting. Amen. Amen. In the wisdom, pray for us. Ni ganyan. Just decide first here. Chairman and CEO. Ibo ganyan mga bata. First year magaling. Chairman and CEO.